Hey, today is November 17th. I want to do my 30-day uh, oil well indicator review today. I know the first thing everyone's going to want to know about is, was it uh, profitable? So that's where we're going to start here. These are my weekly stats, okay? One week, two week, three week, four week. And as you can see here, for the first two weeks of trading, we did not have a single loss. This right here, I'm not counting. Actually, the first three days, I actually made an error. I ended up trading on the one minute chart instead of the three minute chart okay um, I didn't actually start doing it properly until day four but we will go back and look at October 21st so you guys can see what actually happened on the uh, three minute chart but as you can see here greens were uh, profitable days the reds were negative days and we had a total of one thousand three hundred and thirty dollars in profitable income for the month and we had $310 in losses for the month for a total of $1,020 net profit for the month. Okay, so obviously the, uh, the indicator did good. We only had three losses, and I, I don't think I've ever come across another piece of software with a record like this, especially not with two weeks without a losing trade. Okay, so do I recommend the product? The answer would be a resounding yes. Um, anyway, let me uh, show you guys October 21st so you can see what happened there. All right, let's go back here. Okay, and my trading time frame is from 9 to 2. So what we have here is 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And on the three minute chart, which is what this is, we only have one signal here okay and this obviously would have been a winner we would have took a little heat here not much about seven or uh, six ticks and then it would have went up to our take profit point okay so this should have been as you can see here plus 100 but obviously I won't count that because I was uh, trading on the wrong chart but you guys won't have that issue because you'll know from the beginning that you should be trading on the uh, three minute chart not the one minute chart okay next I'm going to uh, show you guys several trades that I think we can all learn something from I know I did okay so we're gonna start out with November 15th so let's go to 1115 alright here we are and we should be at 9 o'clock in the morning and what I wanted to show you guys here is erratic behavior there are certain uh, times in the market where the uh, price action is just crazy you know it's really really spiky for example here on this particular day this was November 15th at uh, 9 o'clock you guys can go back and check this also if you like but as you can see here the market spiked down then spiked back up and then it spiked back up again to get us into this trade if you would have watched the spike or the uh, price action on this you would have saw that this was very erratic it was very jumpy and this is a uh, not the type of price action you want to see before you get into a trade okay so this is an example of a time where it's best to just stay out of the market you know we're not in a rush to take a trade I'd much rather not take a trade and keep my money than take a trade and you know lose money so um, that call is yours when you see stuff like that but for me I will stay out of the market okay um, I also had another question from someone about why I take my trades at the earliest possible point instead of maybe at the last possible point or the middle point okay let's uh, go to November the 6th right here okay here it is we're looking for 1215 this is a good example here alright I do take most of my trades at the uh, earliest possible point mainly because I've noticed that there have been occasions where I'll get filled by one tick and then the market will just drop or either if it's uh, in the opposite direction I'll get filled in one tick and the market will just you know spike right up to my uh, take profit and oftentimes it won't go deep enough into the uh, uh, square to get me filled especially not to the uh, uh, far out entry price okay so that's one of the main reasons but there are times when I will take the uh, further out entry price such as um, opportunities like this if you see that the market is in um, a heavily trending market like this where it's touched the 13 SMA multiple times once twice three times and it's continuing to bounce and you see you have a situation like this 
okay the market has already come back to the uh, the 13 SMA and you have a good opportunity or a good chance that it's going to continue pushing up okay you can easily enter here but you know you're going to take a lot of heat on that trade and it's a good chance that you'll get stopped out so a smarter thing to do would be to just enter at the very last opportunity you have that way you have much more room to get back to that 13 SMA okay again this is just one opportunity or one situation where in my opinion it would be uh, acceptable to take the further out entry okay this is not something that I do on most trades like I said but this would have saved you on this trade right here and you will have obviously known that you needed to do this again because the market was so close to the 13 SMA that you knew it was going to continue moving up okay so that's just a, a quick example of why you would take the further out entry okay next thing I wanted to speak on was let's go to November 4th here real quick I want to speak on where levels of support or resistance are uh, hit multiple times and they're backed up by the oil well indicator those are extremely high probability trades all right November 4th 203 all right what we have here is a pivot point and it was a uh, test it multiple times the market wasn't able to break it here wasn't able to break it here it actually uh, tried to but closed underneath it as you can see here and so we got a box we were filled and the reason this was such a high probability trade is because this is a tested level of resistance okay once you actually get started testing the oil well indicator you'll notice that this happens often where um, things just magically line up like this and they are wonderful trades to take I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples of this but right here pivot points been tested we got filled again the market broke through gave us a little heat but came right back down tested the pivot point again and gave us our profit okay so again tested multiple times didn't break it and gave us our profit let's uh, check November 7th alright this is November 7th 1035 okay again we have an S1 level right here as you can see and it was tested right here this happens to be a one bar reversal pattern and actually it tested it once and it tested it twice here actually after we were in the trade so we would have been filled right here we know this has already been tested once the market came down and touched it and then we went right back up to our uh, take profit point so again when you find these levels of support and resistance that have been tested multiple times and you get your box that uh, coincides in the proper direction these are extremely high highly probable trades okay so these are trades you definitely want to be taking alright let's try one more October 25th alright here we are October 25th at 4 p.m. okay here it is right here and as you can see here we have this R2 level and we have the high of the day the high of the day was tested once twice and as you can see here this also happens to be the R2 level so the R2 level was tested once twice and three times and I actually took uh, two contracts on this trade because the probability of it dropping was extremely high and that's exactly what it did we got into the trade here it tested that R2 level and then it just dropped right down to our uh, take profit point and again you guys will notice these a lot once you actually get started in your testing and uh, want you guys to be confident in taking those sort of trades the oil well indicator it I don't actually know what makes it tick I don't know you know what's what's behind the scenes on this indicator but what I do know is um, when something like this when a level is tested multiple times then there's an extremely high chance that it's going to drop again especially when you have something like the oil well indicator telling you okay there's going to be a short soon when you add that with these levels I mean it's 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 just beautiful that's the only way I can put it these are beautiful trades that you guys will be able to, to uh, look for and take um, that's all I wanted to talk to on that the next thing I wanted to speak on was setting up your ATM strategies I know a lot of you guys watching this are going to be new coming into a ninja trader so I just wanted to speak on this relatively quickly once you go into your uh, chart trader 
you'll come right over here to ATM strategy click this little bubble and you can uh, come here and decide how many contracts you want to trade I'm doing one and you'll select 15 and 10 because that's what the oil well indicator uses and then you'll simply right click in this box give it a name let's say gap close 6 okay save it click OK and there it is right there and what that's going to do is once you get entered into a trade it's going to automatically enter your uh, 15 stop and 10 take profit so basically it's just a way to uh, save yourself some time alright alright the next thing I want to speak on was the uh, customer service for the oil money um, I honestly have nothing whatsoever to complain about I've um, spoken to them several times. I've sent in emails several times, and I usually get a reply back within 24 hours, if not sooner. The woman that uh, responds when I email in is, is very knowledgeable. I've sent her some uh, issues that I couldn't figure out for the life of me, and she'll get back to me and you know just tell me exactly how I need to fix my uh, issue. So um, that's definitely a plus from what I've seen. You can also speak to uh, Scott on Skype. I'm sure he's available to help out any new members and also I'm available to help out any new members on my uh, website empireambition.com if you need help with anything as far as getting set up or something you can just um, drop by and just shoot me a message and I'll help you out as best as I can okay um, so basically long story short customer support is good I've had no issues whatsoever with them there um, the last things I want I, I didn't want this to be a long review so I'm gonna speak on a couple things just that I've noticed as far as the uh, indicator is concerned number one you want to check forexfactory.com every day here it is right here forexfactory.com and you know just check it to make sure there's not any news coming out on that day for uh, that could affect the, the the oil indicator and if there is you do not want to be in the market at that time okay next thing I wanted to speak on is make sure you're on the correct contract and to do that you would simply need to go to the uh, cmegroup.com and that is right here cmegroup.com you can just type in CL there it is light sweet crude oil click it and as you can see here we're on the uh, light sweet crude oil futures page and you're going to want to choose whichever contract has the most volume and right now it's December you can see there it has the most volume okay this is uh, easy stuff but it's definitely something that you need to be focused on something that you need to do before you start trading rather alright the next thing you need to know is to make sure you're trading on the three minute chart not the one minute chart I made that mistake you do not want to make that mistake okay number four only refresh your chart if your ninja, uh, ninja trader freezes alright before we were told to um, refresh about every five minutes or you know as, as soon as you thought it was necessary but the truth of the matter is we just found out that we do not need to refresh the charts I repeat do not refresh the charts okay only do that if your screen freezes alright number five as I've already stated do not enter a trade with erratic price action which I've already showed you an example of earlier okay you can like I said you can choose to take every trade or be picky about your trades but when you see erratic price action like what I showed you earlier it's best to just stay out of the market um, number six you're on average gonna get one to two trades per day uh, only thing I can say on that is remember it's not about quantity it's about quality and obviously if we're getting you know a month of results and only three losers these are extremely high quality uh, signals that we're getting alright I've also noticed we'll we'll call this number seven that it's uh, relatively safe to trade after a news relief release um, at least five minutes after. Okay, so if a news release comes out, just may wait maybe you know five or six minutes. And I've actually uh, seen trades come up five or six minutes, and so far they've all been winners after news releases. You just don't want to be in the market before right before a news release is about to come out. All right, number eight if the oil well icon at the top left corner here disappears that is okay okay oftentimes you'll be trading and you'll notice that this will leave okay and I've actually talked to Scott about this and he said the icon has no bearing whatsoever on how the uh, oil well indicator performs so don't worry about this basically alright the last point um, that I want to make about this system and I really want to stress this is don't beat yourself up 
if you miss a trade or if you take a loser you know no system in existence is a hundred percent profitable okay and as long as you stick to the rules there's a good chance that your next four or five maybe even six trades are going to be winners okay as long as you stick to the rules like I said because that's what I did in my testing here and that's how I got those results just following the system following the rules and um it worked out well that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this uh, review here hope you guys found it informative and if you have any questions you can chat with me on my website empireambition.com I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have you know so just uh get in contact with me and uh, finally do I recommend this product a resounding yes plain and simple I've never honestly seen a system with this good of results and where is it at here I'm gonna have to show you show you guys this again only three losers after uh, 30 days of trading that is something worth being proud of okay so this is definitely a system that I recommend and I would definitely recommend you guys test it out I think right now it's uh, thirty dollars to test it for thirty days, so it's definitely something you guys want to look into. Okay, and that is it. Again, if you have any questions, just uh, get in contact with me, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.